Hello and welcome. Uh, as most of you will know, I'm Dave. I'm Joda, and this is a 2012 celebration video. Roll. <laughs> It's only fitting to start with a prince, and in March we had a visit from His Royal Highness the Duke of York, who came to officially open our Wentworth building. Many people had the honour of meeting His Royal Highness, including the Chairman of the Board, Ken Barris, and Her Royal Highness, Joda. Did I forget to mention that I uh, met the prince? Yeah, yeah, I think you mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. Level 2 and Level 3 Media Makeup students took part in a prestigious event held in Sheffield this year and 50 of those students attended the European Figure Skating Championships and did the makeup for over 130 skaters. We also um, used three students um, backstage at the Motorpoint Arena working on the figure skaters themselves. The event was held over a number of days and it was even attended by Prince Edward himself. More royalty. I know, but were you there? Um, I was otherwise engaged. Oh, thought so. Our level three fashion students were strutting their stuff at the end of year fashion show. All the work went towards their grades and they created a theme and designed outfits to match. The students worked really hard on the designs and there was such a diverse range of styles including 40s pinups and carnival characters. One student even created something to do with Barbie. Really? Mm. Where was Ken? And Cabbage Patch. Ken wasn't. You'll like Cabbage Patch. Shut up. A group of fashion students have used garments from the local charity Deborah to design all of their own outfits ready to be displayed in the college fashion show in June. After the show, all the items will go on sale in the charity shop window. You need some. Hey, this is retro chic. Is that what they call it? Yeah, I think so. I thought it's bed sheet. <laughs> Dave, did you know that year one acting students performed at the National Theatre Connections Festival in London? Yes, I did. Did you know that? Yeah. They performed The Ritual by Samia Yazbek. Big news for students and big news for the college. The youngsters are among 180 youth theatres who performed across the country with a chance of performing at the National Theatre. So you did know? Yeah, yeah, I, did. I told you that earlier. One of our previous performing arts students has landed himself in the big time after getting himself a role in the Western musical Greece. Josh was awarded the scholarship for the musical theatre course at Italia Conte. And London developed his skills as an actor, a singer and a dancer and has been performing throughout the year with the Grease team. What an achievement. He was obviously the one that they won. Like that. Yeah, like that. Our construction department have built links with national tool distributor Drape Tools. Two of our students are studying level 3 diploma in brickwork have since seen their work used nationally to market the company. Yep, Ashley Hart and Gavin Priest have produced a creative wall which is now being used in the company's marketing campaign. Stephanie Wallace, one of B10 Level 3's students of animal care management, has secured her place at one of the country's top veterinary schools. Nottingham Veterinary School normally only accepts students that have done A-levels, so for a vocational student this is a very big success. Glyn Atkinson, one of our Level 3 Access to HE students, has been accepted into the University Dental Hospital of Manchester, which is one of the most modern dentistry universities. Glyn has not only come back to get a qualification, but has also set out on his goal to become a dental surgeon. Adam Ellis, one of our mechanical engineering students, is celebrating after winning £250 at the Award for Student Excellence Awards. It was awarded to him by the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Well, we've all got to say well done to Jonathan Wakeford, a level three diploma student studying musical theatre who has secured his place at the University of London's School of Speech and Drama. And Dame Helen Mirren, Catherine Tate and Laurence Olivier have all been through their doors. As part of the Coalfields Regeneration Trust, we'll be installing new machinery for engineering, including new Haas CNC machines, and these will enable our students to do advanced manufacturing. Along with this, we've also ordered a CNC milling machine and a CNC lathe, all of which will enhance the students' experience. Over 115 hours community work has been done in Rotherham over the past year by the Prince's Trust team. Students taking part have built greenhouses, done painting, DIY and lots more. It's been a great experience for everybody involved, especially the students who have been able to put something back into the community while making themselves feel good at the same time. Some of our students have been giving up their spare time to help the elderly in the Rotherham Less Lonely initiative. 40 of our health and social care students pledged their support where they promised to take part in activities to help the elderly. 
Andrew Ray, one of our tutors, has been secretly nominated for an award by the Teaching Awards Trust. He was nominated as part of the Thank a Teacher campaign and will be chauffeured down to London to be on the BBC Two programme. Our Rother Valley Day Nursery has been honoured with a Quality in Action Award by Rotherham Borough Council for their commitment to quality. They've made a number of improvements to their customer care, to work with partnerships with the parents and to improve their communication. With the Olympics happening this year, it's our perfect opportunity to show what our students can do and the involvement that they've had. Here's John to explain a little bit more. Uh, at the Olympics, we're going to be based down in Greenwich Park, uh, catering for uh, the equestrian events, uh, VIP catering on behalf of uh, Arena Leisure. Uh, so we're going to be looking after some uh, important people, including heads of state, diplomats and uh, probably royalty as well. So we're probably looking at doing about 450 people uh, per day um, and it's based around uh, a taste of the British Isles. And now for a new segment of the show, the Quickie News. Throughout the year there's been numerous fundraising activities, too many to mention them all. Here are just a few examples of what our staff have been up to, all in the aid of charity. Members of staff from our construction department organised a charity golf event in memory of Pete Barry who sadly passed away last year. The team raised £174 and was donated to the Western Park Hospital in Sheffield. Sora Hull and Naomi Jarvis braved the scorching heat and ran the Sheffield Half Marathon for Macmillan Cancer Support and raised over £550. Staff took part in the Go Yellow Day for the charity Rotherham Hospice, where over £246 was raised. Well done to Jane Pownall, who raised £570 as she took part in the London Moonwalk, a 26.2 mile power walk for Walk the Walk charity, which raises awareness of breast cancer. Back in October last year, over £200 was raised by staff for the national charity Jeans for Jean. And good luck to Paul Collier, who will be running the Great North Run this September for the charity British Heart Foundation. Four of the college's students have been successful in winning the Young Achievers Award at an event organised by the Rotherham Advertiser. The students each won an award for their determination and hard work after experiencing struggles and difficulties. The Rotherham Advertiser's Young Achievers Award celebrates young people who give up their time and energy to help the community. We are now the proud owners of some extra farm animals after we went to the rescue of our local charity, Thornbury Animal Sanctuary. Due to a lack of funding, the charity was struggling to accommodate all of its farm animals and decided to ask the college for a bit of help. And we were there, like Where? superheroes. As Rotherham becomes a heart town, we as a college have pledged our support in the charity. A lot of staff and students have also pledged to raise funds for the charity group. So well done to everybody involved. Every teenage girl wants to look like a princess at her prom. So we made 2012 the year to remember when we hosted our first prom fair back in January. As well as beautiful stalls and dresses, many watched a stunning fashion show with a selection of dresses from the designer Dressed by KS. Following the Enhanced Renewal Grant, which was awarded earlier this year, work has begun on developing the college with plans for it to be complete by September. Developments have already well underway in the Clifton Building, with the beauty salons, the science labs, engineering department and hospital rooms. In the Eastwood Building, we can expect to see an ASD centre, a hygiene room, rooms for media makeup and theatre production. The marketing department will shortly be launching a new project called Rotherham is Changing to highlight the upcoming developments to the public. So on behalf of the college, we'd just like to say thank you very much for all your hard work this year. And if you've got any successes that you want us to celebrate in 2013, speak to marketing, be proud, tell them what you've been doing. Yeah, everybody's got something to be proud of. See you next year. Thumb up! Come on, I'm going to put the thumb up! Stephanie Wannis. Wannis? Yeah. Where do these names come from? People just like make names up these days. Yeah, a bit like Joda. <laughs> <laughs> You think you can? I think you can do it. It's not real. Do his good set. <laughs> Dave, did you know? Yeah. You... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> do you know what I've been told? I look like Rosie and Jim, but more like Jim than Rosie. <laughs> Hurrah! Oh. I'm sure they drop it your feet. You just sounded like Orville. I wish I could fly, <laughs> I'd up to the sky, but I can't. You never listen to me! I know, I'm sorry! We'll be installing new machines. <laughs> okay. Where they promised. <sighs> <sighs>
himself in the big time these days. After, after. <laughs> <laughs> and it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from here. <laughs>